championship fight between George St. Pierre and Michael Bisping. So here he is, the number one middleweight contender getting set for this 185 pound title fight. He believes this title shot should have come a long time ago. But he has let bygones be bygones. The focus now on seeding the champion in dominant fashion and starting a new middleweight legacy of his own. 25 minutes or fewer away from becoming the new champion. We will see how he performs tonight. So here's the undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world making the walk, looking to defend his title. It is certainly something that he's been able to do in the past. He has been challenged on this title run. It's not as though he has run a rough shot through this division, but they're all still chasing him at 185 pounds tonight. At least on paper, could be his most difficult challenge today. for this, our main event of the evening. George St. Pierre is two years the elder. Bisping is three inches taller. GSP will have a one inch reach advantage. All right, now for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buck. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC middleweight championship of the world. It's close. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 31 wins, nine losses. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Manchester, England, presenting the challenger, Michael the Cup. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 26 wins, two losses. He stands five feet, 10 inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Montreal, Quebec, Canada, presenting the reigning, defending UFC undisputed middleweight champion. George Brush St. Pierre! All right, so for the championship, you've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up, and we are underway. Ready. is palpable as this fight gets underway and it'll be interesting to see how this matchup plays out. Definite striker on one side and it's another guy similar to it. And in those situations, normally the guy that's more well-rounded will be the one that will find success. I want to see how this plays out. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. St. Pierre gets caught with that punch. 
perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. St. Pierre's head kick is blocked, so no damage inflicted there. Circling away towards the left now. That kick is good by Bisper. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Straight right hand now just misses. Nice punch lands over the top. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Working out of that southpaw stance. Oh, double leg takedown. Three minutes to go in the round. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Nice stick with the right hand. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, north-south position here. We'll see if the crowd can be mature about this, DC. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. Well, not good body language from his opponent here, DC. He's curled up. No, he's exhausted. He's been beaten. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Bisping. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Oh, looks like he's transitioning an armbar. You cannot stay in the guard of these great jiu-jitsu guys. He's going to attack armbar here. Oh, we're getting a finish here. Oh, now he's in trouble. Oh, and he pins the arm down, and that is it. So the he tap got, comes shortly thereafter. He got the arm straight, right? The moment he was able to break the lock, John, his opponent was in trouble. Hip pressure up, opponent had to tap. And he tapped, and he lives to fight another day, but a huge win for his opponent by submission tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it. Eventually, his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission. He did that, and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the octagon. All right, so there's the man they're all chasing at 185 pounds, the undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world, and the celebration is on after the big submission win here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop for this contest at four minutes, 38 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out. And still! So there he is, still the undisputed UFC middleweight champion after a win by way of submission here tonight. And despite the fact that the 